According to The Independent, around 230,000 students take a gap year each year in the UK alone. This creates an industry worth a whopping £1.3 billion. I'm here to answer the question, does taking a gap year help you get into university or does it help you with career path? As you probably already know, there are a number of ways you can spend your year. You can work and earn some money, you can travel and see the world. I'm going to focus on doing volunteer work abroad and to do that, I'm going to be following a student who's currently volunteering in Cambodia. This is Jordan. Oh hi there. I didn't see you come in. So not have you only done uh, volunteering in like all these amazing countries, you also did uh, like a month's travelling. Would you recommend either of them, uh, even if it just be like going volunteering for a year or maybe volunteering for a few months, would you recommend it? Yeah, I d definitely, you know. Um, I didn't actually think, I didn't expect when I begun uh, the month in Europe. I thought that it would just be... Um, mm, like a a bit of a sightseeing thing and maybe I'd meet one or two people that would and they'd be nice and that was all I expected to get from it but it's it was it completely changed my life it completely changed my life um it just with the way I view things and the way um, I perceive myself and other people it was incredible I met some really amazing people who have changed who I am and seen some things that I never expected I'd see yeah. um you know, got some amazing stories out of it and made some friends that I'll have for life, I think. So, that, where will that be? There? Where are we pulling out? That's... So, do you think this trip will benefit you when you get back? Oh, yeah. for sure. This will definitely benefit me. Like, I think it's going to benefit me way more than if I took another course at college or if I went to university. Um, because, you know, it's people st skills, it's life experience, it's... Character building. Yeah, it's, it's character building, basically. Yeah. You're totally right. And that's priceless, you know. Like, yeah. where else are you going to get that? So what we learned from our interview with Jordan, that a gap year can make you a more rounded person, it could give you a better idea of what you want to do in the future, and also it could give you the experience of different cultures in a completely different way that universities and other work can't give you. I'm going to be talking to Pauline Clark. She's the careers advisor based here at Cambridge Regional College and hopefully she'll be able to answer some key questions. Surveys show that 85% of HR executives think that relative work experience is more valuable than a non-vacational degree. Yeah. Hello, my name's Pauline Clark. I'm one of the careers advisors at Cambridge Regional College. Does taking a gap year help you when applying for a job? Um, it can certainly make your CV or application form look quite interesting. It all depends what you've done in your gap year, really. Okay, so say voluntary work abroad, what kind of thing does that show? Well, that shows sort of commitment to do something to help others mm -hmm. and not get paid for it. <laughs> um, it shows that you, you are quite confident about travelling abroad. Um, uh, it shows that you um, obviously are going to be working as part of a team, so it's, it's building up your team mm -hmm. working skills, those kind of things. So the, the softer skills that employers are looking for, if you were to do volunteering abroad, would certainly, you know, be okay. a good plot positive. Yeah. There is no right and wrong about a gap year, providing you are being productive and doing something with it, rather than just laying in bed and watching TV or playing your Xbox. So the answer is yes, a gap year is beneficial when you're applying for a job, but only if you spend your time wisely. What are you doing? Um, basically I'm um, just looking around the like on uh, online volunteer our websites. This is uh, Original Volunteers. And I'm basically looking at the costs and stuff and how much it actually costs to do stuff like this. So, I mean, like, you go to Argentina for like £65 per week, which is like your accommodation and food and everything, so it's actually quite cheap. Okay, so at the moment, I'm basically uh, trying to make uh, like a little budget list of uh, things I need to get and uh, pay for when um, going to Ghana. So, hopefully. I'll get an idea how much it costs. Okay, so I've completed my budget. It's going to cost me about £2,837. Bear in mind I've only done this for about 10 minutes and obviously it can vary from country to country and how long you go for. I was supposed to be having an interview with actually a friend of the family who basically did the interviews for the universities and they were hopefully going to answer my question, does 
taking a gap year help you get into university but unfortunately they're busy so I've been doing some research and basically most of them say the same thing as what Pauline did it's yes I mean as long as it's relevant to what you want to do in medicine for example practice is very hard especially in this country there's some projects which I was looking at which allow you to stand in a room where they're doing surgery and so on and you're actually helping them that you you could be given you help give birth to a baby and stuff like that it's like ridiculous the, the, the stuff and the, the variety of things they have out there okay. so to answer a question yes a gap year does benefit you when applying for a job or university but only if you spend your time wisely